Now, since I am to tell you certain basic things regarding judicial conduct, you are to cross three hurdles. First is three, then is main, then interview. So, sequence wise, I'll be just clarifying how you are to prepare for that. Firstly, free. Since all of you are graduates in law, maybe knowing certain questions, first thing is must go through all the illustrations in all the subjects, IPC, ERPC, evidence, Hindu law, whatever it is there, all the illustrations you are to do. Possibility is here that there may be some questions out of the illustration itself. And if you are aware of that, you will be getting the marks from that. Now, I just put a question. I don't think anybody out of you will be able to answer that. It is an illustration also. It is in the bear act. Okay, it is in the bear act. A instigate a young boy age 16 years, one six. To commit suicide. 
if he doesn't commit suicide, what will be the liability of A? If he commits suicide, what will be the liability of A? Then the Varay Bodhana will be more clear. A is the accused. He instigates a young boy, 16, 17, 15 years of age, to commit suicide. If he commits suicide, what will be the liability of him? If he doesn't commit suicide in spite of instigation, what will be the liability of him? Last question, huh? मैं ये लास्ट क्वेश्चन है सेक्शन 300 में देर आर फाइव एक्सेप्शन इन सेक्शन 300 दिस इज रिलेटिंग टू लास्ट एक्सेप्शन फिफ्थ एक्सेप्शन इट इज लास्ट क्वेश्चन if he doesn't commit suicide it is abatement of murder if he commits suicide it is a murder Ab some other answers may be also there like uh, he is abetting for suicide also answer that is not wrong if that is not the option in the in the objective by fault this uh, uh, option is not there then all will be able to answer. Secondly, even if some other answer is there, whatever answer is there in the illustration, that will be taken as correct. Since the question is from the illustration itself. So whatever answer is there in the illustration, that is the correct answer. So firstly, you are to go through the illustration. Since I am concerned with IPC, so I will be referring to IPC. Take another. A is married. His wife is there. She hands over very costly watch belonging to her husband to her paramour. Boyfriend. It is very costly. It is a gentle man watch. You know that. What is the liability of the paramount who receives that? What is the liability of wife? It is not illustration. It is not illustration, but it is connected with section I think what we talk. The person who receives it is liable for theft, and the wife is liable for abetment of so That is all. This is one thing you are to do. This is first. Second, in a recent few years, especially in Many changes have been made in law. IPC also, PRPC also, evidence also, some other laws also, even in Hindu law also. You must know all those changes made in law. Because some of the changes have changed the meaning of 
life of the compound. There was a case. Priya Patel, that is the state of Gujarat, 2006, Supreme Court. In that case, it was held that a woman cannot be prostituted or gang. Because she cannot have the common intention to commit the rape with her. Now, in 2013, change is made in this section. Section 376D. Section is dealing with that. Earlier, the law was if there are two or more than two persons having a common intention to commit a rape, if one of them commits rape, all are liable for gang. So in Priya Patel's case, one was a women also in that case. She too was convicted by the high court. She went to the Supreme Court where the Supreme Court said that women cannot be convicted for gang. She may be convicted for abetment, not for gang rape. The punishment for gang rape can be death. But in 2013, change is made. Change is, earlier it was if they have a common intention, two, three persons having common intention to commit a rape. Now it is, if there are two, three persons, they constitute a group or they are having common intention. They are too far. Earlier it was only common intention. Now if they constitute a group and one of them commits rape, all the persons shall be liable for gang rape. Now women can be a part of a group also. Pula Devi was leading the group also. The lady can be a part of the group. She may not have common intention because requirement is one out of the two. Either she constitutes a group along with others, or she has common intention. One out of them. She can have a, she can constitute a group along with others. Man is a simple example then. There is a group. One of them is a lady. Three persons are there. They have constituted a group. They are committing thefts or robbery, whatever. Once they go to commit a robbery or theft, one of them commits the rape also. All the persons are liable for gang rape, including that business. So that change is big. Go through all the changes which have been introduced recently, especially in 2013 onwards. Similar change is here in section 376B. Earlier it was if the person is married, his wife is living separately under a degree of separation from her husband. And husband has sexual intercourse with her without her consent. He is liable for an offence under Section 376B. Now, change. Now, the change is if the wife is living separately under degree of separation or otherwise. Now, degree of separation is not a requirement or otherwise. Still, he can be convicted for that offence. It is not a rape, it is separation. Earlier it was punishable with two years, now it is five years. So it is a separate offense in itself. Now he can be prosecuted. Even if the wife is living separately in a degree of separation. Now the word otherwise. Other degree of separation or otherwise. Otherwise has to be established. A 
जैसे लेडी ने क्या मूवी दिखा के लिया होगा माइंड जखों दर उसके कहे चलेगी दिस इज नॉट लिविंग सेपरेटली एट ऑल क्या है तुम इस हमला लेने नहीं है नहीं इधर ही जो गोवन आई था और ही जी कीपिंग ये अनदर लेडी ये लेता हूँ और ही ट्रीटिंग विद क्रूटी और देयर इज सम रीजन टू लिव सेपरेटली एंड रीजनेबली रीजनेबल टाइम मस्ट हैव गॉन टू आल्सो देयर इज अ चेंज टू दैट इन सीआरपीसी आल्सो दैट इज मदर स्टेट विल फाइंड आउट व्हेदर द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ दिस सेक्शन आर देयर बिफोर टेकिंग कॉग्निशन और नॉट दिस इज वन ऑफ द थिंग व्हिच ही इज डिटरमिनिंग that if she is living separately other than without decree of separation what whether it can be treated to be living separately otherwise or not so these are the changes especially hai marital reading can differentiate kare bale bala tej na chal bala tej na chal asi jadon aavange na utthe main kalli kalli section karauni ha tote bana daanga to कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं होगी जो उसे आएंगे मैंने क्यों रेप एक से ही सेक्शन है दैट इज प्रोवाइडिंग हूं देयर इज ए देखो दिस सोसाइटी इन व्हिच वी आर लिविंग मैरिटल रेप विल नॉट बी प्रॉपर इट विल नॉट बी प्रॉपर माइनर रेप है माइनर रेप वो तो फिर है ही है पर सपोर्ट सिस्टम बिलकुल ऑब्जेक्टिव टाइप क्वेश्चन can be there from the section itself like for example which out of the following is the sense where no right of private defense is available options are theft extortion or robbery required which is the sense against which no right of private defense is available no this is in the section this is in the section if you are gone through the section you will be able to answer that it is extortion there is no right of private defense in case of extortion so go through this like which out of the following is not a stolen property then option is there if the property is transferred by theft that has taken place in usa and brought property brought into india cheating criminal misappropriation criminal breach of trust extortion option can be any now which is the sense which will not make it stolen property now if you read this section which is defining stolen property section 410 
that even if theft has taken place outside India, if property is brought into India, it will be taken to be a stolen property. The specific offenses are mentioned, which will make it a stolen property. Cheating is not there. Cheating is not there. In English criminal law, even cheating is there. But in our criminal law, cheating is not there. So go through different sections. Some of the sections itself provide for objective type questions. So that is the another thing. Then next, go through latest judgments, landmark judgments. There are two, two parts. One is landmark judgments. It may be 10 years back, it may be 20 years back, it may be 100 years back even. Because some of the judgments are so important, if you are not aware of that, you are not knowing that offense. Like for kidnapping. That's Vargarajan's case is here. so if you do not know what the other case you are not doing it you do not know kidnapping so landmark decision is to be always referred sometimes objective types of knowledge. So this case relates to which is it? case is related to murder. So some in whole of the IPC there may not be more than 25 to 30 landmark decisions. And it's not very difficult to remember. Secondly, latest cases, which have recently come in the last five, ten years. Now, there is a case related to adultery. It has been declared unconstitutional, which is the case. There is a case relating to 377, unnatural offense, which is that case. So some of the latest cases, there are many cases in criminal procedure court. There may be cases relating to other laws. There is a very important case relating to section 6 of Hindu succession act. Relating to property of a female. So, you want to be knowing that okay. which section to which area these cases are related. During individual offenses, we'll be talking about that also later on, but you are to be ready with that. Next. Now, there are ready made material also. Try to have good book providing for objective type questions. Go through that. Wherever you feel some doubt that the answer doesn't appear to be correct, clarify that. Clarify that from book. Because many complaints have come. When papers are held, that these questions are wrong in key. Because some of the people set the paper from these books. Every 90%, 95% answer may be correct. But there is always a possibility that incorrect answer may also be there in the book. 
So wherever you feel like you can look into the law, the section itself and find out what is the right answer. This is how you are to prepare preliminary part. Confidence is the key for success. If you get confused, there is every possibility that you will not be able to give the right answers. So when you are looking at, because the time is quite enough, don't attempt me a pressure. And so don't stumble on one question. Go through those answers which you know. Then, second, because if you know the answer, so for 100 answers are concerned, it may not take half an hour. Then you have approximately one and a half hour. That is where you are to find out those areas where some doubt is there. Never answer a question where the doubt is more than two options. Our option on the end. If you think that out of the two answers should be there, go for that. To call all those. But if you think that it may be three or you are completely ignorant, don't attempt that because negative marking is you. Leave that question. That is how the first step is to be taken. Now we come to the second part, main. Since I have acted as an evaluator also, of judicial papers, paper setter also, but that is the history. That for the last around 15 years, I am completely off. One of the reasons for that, this tendency of leakage of papers. So, to pehla ho examiner no phalle ne, agar paper leak hunda. So many people refuse to So first thing which you are to take into mind by answering the question. Paper Agya. The first question is to be answered from page 1 to 5. Second question is to be answered from page 6 to 10. Third question from so on. So on the Don't bother. Leave those pages. Go to the question which you are very comfortable. Answer that. And then you will gain confidence also. Then accordingly, second option, second question, where you feel like that you are comfortable, go for that. Whatever pages are mentioned, at that page, answer that question also. So this is how you can answer. So that is how you are to take second second is time management since you are given three hours you are tuned to answer five questions only in law llb five six is to jada swali on this body and you approximately 30 to 35 minutes to answer each question there in law examination but in competitive examination, there are approximately 20 questions. 
one question we have three parts we have four parts so you are to answer for those approximately 20 25 20 around that answers so you are to accordingly plan your time now if the question is of 20 marks how much space you are to give in answer to that question it should not be more than three pages three three and a half page within that you are to condense the material don't leave anything you are to, you are not to teach the examiner he knows that and you can put in a condensed form also the whole material, my just for example, when I'll discuss the subject with you later on, there's the definition of fraudulently, dishonestly. So when I'll discuss in the class, it may spread over to three pages also, because I am to teach. I am to clarify that. Like in soft, there are five ingredients. One of them is a dishonest intention. Soft, extortion, robbery, duplicity, misappropriate, breach of trust. One ingredient, dishonest intention. If you write three pages only for dishonestly, there are five other ingredients, four other ingredients also. You will not be able to condense the material in three pages or know how to make a summary. But not to teach giving details to the examiner. You have to just tell him that this honest intention as per section 24 has three ingredients. There must be loss or gain of a property. Second, act of years must be wrongful. Third, intention must be there to cause that loss or gain. That is wrong. That is what you are doing. Similarly, in fraudulently also, when I'll discuss fraudulently with you, it may go to three pages, four pages even. Because I am to clarify. You are not to clarify to him. He is expert there. He knows the subject also. You are to make a summary of that. And that is how you can make it within the specific time. So, in case question is, of 20 marks, try to condense that into three, three and a half page. If it is a 10 marks, try to answer it within two pages approximately. But some things depend upon the handwriting also. How you write that, that also counts. If it is five marks, Try to answer that in one page, approximately. This is the space. Three pages, approximately, for 20 marks. Two pages approximately for 10 marks. One page approximately for five marks. Then time. How much time you are to spend in answering those three, three pages or two pages? How much time? Hello? Where are the If it is 20 mark question, answer that within less than 20 minutes. Maybe 18, maybe 19. If it is 10 marks, answer that 
less than 10 minutes. If it is five marks, answer that in less than five minutes. If you manage accordingly, you will be having approximately 20 minutes more left over. That can be consumed here and there. Kete bini vija ekki lage, kete bai lage, kete dati vija gera lage, bara lage. So that is just for adjustment of the bridge. This is regarding time management. Now, coming to the next part. Nobody will read your answer sheet. Isn't any part of the Then Sahab remained evaluator. I have seen the judicial paper. I have seen it. No You are to make your answer sheet speak to the examiner. Answer sheet bulle bridge ki likhe. So if you write essay type, nobody is going to go through whole of material. Answer sheet must speak. You are to give heading, underline that. You are to give case law, underline that. You are so that the person he will just look at the page. And if headings are correct, available, cases are mentioned properly, so that is all what he goes through. Because nobody is going to spend agar sari copy padega, chali bhi PhD copy hun diya. Okay, since I have remained here, normally you can have 500 paper aaj dekhna tushi. You can't devote more than three, two, three minutes for each one. And that is possible only if you glance through that. If you start reading that, it is not possible. So make the answer self-speaking. So that headings are given, sub-headings are given, underlying the English, highlighting the high point, case law, underline. <coughs> Don't be miser. by answering the question. Then comes the next. Do not give unnecessary material. Whatever material is required as per question, only that is to be given. So you must Carefully go through the question. Like, for example, one question was there in, I think, Haryana Judicial Services, long back. Question was under what circumstances culpable homicide amounts to murder? Or in Nali, if a person exceeds the right of private defense and causes death, what will be his liability? Now I've seen exception, second new deal, the second part. One exception that you? No, these four exceptions are not required by the per question. You have to confine to one. Just referring in one line that there are five exceptions, this is the second one. Discuss that. Similarly, the question is under what circumstances culpable homicide amount to murder? They start discussing what is culpable homicide not amounting to murder, what is the culpable homicide amounting to murder, what is the comparison. You know, all that hit the point. 
ਕਾਰਜੇ ਨੂੰ ਪੁੱਛਿਆ ਸੀ ਨਾ ਵੀ ਮੱਛੀ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਦੇਖਦਾ ਤੂੰ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਅੱਖ ਦੇਖਦਾ ਉਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਉਹ ਹੀ ਅੱਖ ਦੇਖਣੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਟਲੀ ਕਮ ਟੂ ਦੀ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਦਾ ਸੈਕਸ਼ਨ 300 ਪ੍ਰੋਵਾਈਡ ਫਾਰ ਦੀ ਸਰਕਮਸਟੈਂਸਸ ਅਗਰ ਵਿਚ ਕਲਪੇਬਲ ਹੋਮਿਸਾਈਡ ਅਮਾਉਂਟ ਟੂ ਮਰਡਰ ਦੀਸ ਆਰ ਦੀ ਫੋਰ ਸੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਟਲੀ ਗੋ ਨਹੀਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਅੱਧੇ ਘੰਟੇ ਚ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਨਸਰ ਦੇ ਸਕੋਗੇ this is how you are to manage the time correctly come to the question itself refer section 300 it provides for the circumstances where culpable homicide amount to murder then discuss those four sections refer to case law which is there so this is what you are to do <coughs> unnecessary material needed next part mostly the difficulty which students normally face how to answer problem type questions one thing which i'll prefer to clarify good part of the answer any problem type question it to be found in the facts which are mentioned in that proposition facts it is commonly said that a successful liar is he who is master of the facts law is in the book also law is known to the examiner also law is known to the judge also you are to explain whether those facts fulfill those legal requirements or not that you are to give out of the facts i just given an example there was a problem type question in haryana judicial services question was that a and b both are security guards both have guns on diwali festival both wanted to go home with earlier so that resulted into altercation that resulted into altercation between the two they pointed the revolvers at each other then some person came he pacified both both lowered their revolvers then a found that b has also lowered his revolver he took that opportunity and fired at a and killed b b was prosecuted for murder <coughs> trial court convicted him केस केम टू दी हाई कोर्ट हाई कोर्ट एक्विटेड इन गिविंग दी बेनिफिट ऑफ अ राइट ऑफ प्राइवेट डिफेंस नाउ क्वेश्चन वाज advise the government to file an appeal to the supreme court that was the proposition so it had two parts one related to ipc area second related to crpc appeal when i had gone there to evaluate the paper ਆਰ ਗੋਨ देयर ਵਿਦ ਫੁੱਲ ਡਿਟਰਮੀਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਕਿ ਅਗਰ ਕੋਈ ਬੱਚੇ ਨੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਲਿਖਿਆ ਹੋਵੇਗਾ ਮੈਂ ਵੀ ਜੋ ਵੀ ਦੇ ਦਾਂਗਾ ਪਰ ਅਨਫਾਰਚੂਨੇਟਲੀ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ 11 12 ਤੋਂ ਵੱਧ ਨਹੀਂ ਦੇ ਸਕਿਆ ਚਲੋ ਹੁਣ ਕੇਸ ਫਸਟ ਪਾਰਟ ਬਦਰ ਹਾਈ ਕੋਰਟ ਵਾਸ ਰੋਂਗ ਔਰ ਰਾਈਟ ਇਨ ਗਿਵਿੰਗ ਦੀ ਬੈਨੀਫਿਟ ਆਫ ਰਾਈਟ ਆਫ ਪ੍ਰਾਈਵੇਟ ਡਿਫੈਂਸ ਔਰ ਨਾਟ ਸੈਕ
section 100 provides for circumstances where one can take the life of the assailant. Section 100 has requirements. Number one, there must be an assault by the aggressor. Assault must cause reasonable apprehension of death or grievous hurt. Then you can take the life. No, this is law. This is section 100. This is a law. Question is whether the facts mentioned they are fulfill these requirements of law. You will say no. High court has wrongly appreciated the evidence and thus giving has given the benefit of right of private defense. Reasons number one. As per facts mentioned, they were pacified. That is mentioned in the facts that they were pacified. <laughs> no, you can briefly stretch the word pacified. That pacified means peace had returned, cooling down had taken place. Second reason, this fact is further attested by lowering the revolvers, when they lowered the revolvers. That means they had come to normal. Third reason, that we rather acted in a treacherous manner. When he found that A has lowered the revolver, he took that opportunity to conduct or be the treacherous in this situation. The requirement of section 100 are not present, neither there is an assault. What is the assault? Making preparations or gestures, causing reasonable apprehension that criminal force is about. He is not making any preparation. He has rather lowered the revolver. Thus, to find out the conclusion that in view of these reasons, the requirement of section 100 are not fulfilled. And accordingly, he is not, he cannot be given the benefit of section 100. This is first part. Second part. Advise the government to file an appeal to the Supreme Court. If you are aware of criminal procedure code, as per section 378, no appeal can be filed to the Supreme Court if there is a equal, if there is a conviction by the High Court. High Court has convicted somebody, there is no provision of appeal. Sorry, if the High Court has acquitted the person, there is no provision for appeal. That's for section 378. Now, as per facts, you are representing the prosecution. That is how you will advise the government in the capacity of a prosecutor to file an appeal. Then you will say that as per section 378, if the person is acquitted by the High Court, no appeal is permissible as per section 378. However, <coughs> government is advised to file special leave petition under Article 3, 134A of Constitution of India. Article 134A, Constitution of India. Or under Section 136, sorry, Article 136 of Constitution to the Supreme Court. If you are to file specially petition to the High Court under 134A, if you are to file directly to the Supreme Court under 136 of the Constitution. So, government is advised accordingly to file specially petition either to the High Court or to the Supreme Court. So, this is a complete answer. This is a complete answer. When I say complete answer, that means 20 out of 20. Now, since it is not expected from the student to be that 
to up to that level. None of the students, 400 students, 500 students, sir. Kisi ne bhi it dono ki kisi ne pehla part refer karta, kisi ne dusra part refer karta. Complete answer kisi ne nahi. So answer is to be found because you start discussing law. अगर चौंती थी है, section 34 थी है, problem है, common tension, वो तो है not है कि है, common tension, facts है कि है, facts उसी reason देखे दसो कि आ, facts indicate कर जा, common tension. So answer is to be found from facts. Go through the facts minimum twice. जो तो facts देख थ्रू जाने हूँ, underline करी चलो, जेड़ा favorable तो अनू, decision कर दा है. If you feel के गलत है, केरिया reasons हैं जिधे थोड़े favour जाने हैं underline कर दो। Then mention that in the answer to justify your conclusion. This is how answer to problem type question is to be. So this is not only in relation to IPC; it is relevant accordingly even in Hindu law also or other laws also. You have to make four parts of the answer. First part, one line. Identify the area to which the problem relates. That this problem relates to right of private defense in the section 100. That is all. Second part, what are the requirements of section 100? which are just told you. Assault must be attributed to the tomb. It must cause reasonable apprehension of death. These are the two parts. Third, third is the main answer. From facts you are to justify whether these two requirements are there or not. If they are there, he is entitled. If he is not there, he is not. This is how you are to frame. I say, so the problem related to Hindu law. Naturally, it may be related to divorce, it may be related to restitution of Hindu rights, or whatever it may be related. How to answer? First, identify the area. This problem relates to divorce under Hindu marriage act. Second part. Section 13, though we have Hindu marriage act, provides for the ground for divorce. <coughs> Don't discuss all the grounds. So facts are to indicate that they ground. If it is a desertion, only desertion. If it is cruelty, only cruelty. That cruelty is one of the ground for divorce. Desertion is one of the ground. Discuss that only. Don't give all others. Okay, time is not what I'm calling him. Here are the key requirements and desertion here. So like that. Then you will come to the facts. Does the fact justify those requirements? Whether as per facts, you can justify the requirements or not. You have the liberty to stretch the answer, to stretch the facts, logically. You can't add new fact. You can't take away any fact. You have to remain within the fact, but you can stretch as I have given, classified. You can stretch that classified. But you can't add new fact. You can't take away any fact. Whatever is mentioned there, you are to confine to that. So on the basis of that, then you will make a conclusion. Whether the requirements of cruelty are there, whether the requirements of desertion are there or not. If any case law is there relating to similar kind of question, in the third part you are to refer to that case also. The similar kind of situation was there in this case, and the court has decided this matter. That is supporting my answer also. Then, final conclusion. Online, 
Thus, he is liable, he is not liable, he is entitled to divorce, he is not entitled to divorce. What are the conclusions you draw? This is how you are to answer to any problem type question. Then comes the second part. Sometimes the answer to the problem is not from the facts. If mostly it relates to facts. But it is not necessary that in all the cases it must relate to facts. Sometimes it relates to conceptual clarity. Are you clear about the concept involved? If you are clear, you can answer. Just an example. This question was there again in judicial papers also. That is a team of doctors, consisting of five, seven persons. They remove the kidney of a patient, transplanted that in other persons without his consent. Then question was there. Discuss the liability of the team A for theft, B for robbery, C for dequity. So you are to answer this question in three paragraphs. Liability for theft. Then second, liability for a robbery, then liability for the quality, separately. So if you are conceptually clear, you can answer. First ingredient of theft is there must be dishonest intention. There are five ingredients. You are not to discuss five. You are to confine the catch point. Point which is relevant to the answer. First ingredient is there must be dishonest intention on the part of the accused. Act for section 24, three ingredients are there loss or gain related to act must be a wrong. Intention must be there to cause that loss or gain. Now here, you are not to discuss the second and third. You are to confine to first because the answer is available in first itself. Whether dishonest intention is there or not. Loss is there. Gain is there. What is property? Because it has to relate to property. If property is not involved, question of dishonestly doesn't arise. Then you will explain the concept of property. That property as per section 24 means any tangible property having proprietary value. Proprietary value means value in the eyes of law, legal. Kidney has no proprietary value. In the eye of law, neither it can be sold. It can be donated. That, again, under very rigorous conditions. So, it is not a property. Loss is there, gain is there, but it is not a property. Because it doesn't have a proprietary value. Human beings, living or dead, any human organ does not have any proprietary value in the eye of law. People sell kidney also, make money out of that. Merely because you can sell that and make money out of that, that will not make it a property. People sell children also, people sell women also, but that will not make it a property. Because legally it is unlawful. It has no proprietary value in the eye of law. So, first ingredient of theft is not there. Bhakti discuss Karni Lodini. 
ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਕੋਈ ਵੀ ਆਫੈਂਸ ਹੈ ਉਹਦੇ ਇਨਗਰੀਡੀਐਂਟ ਤੋਂ ਕੋਈ ਇੱਕ ਵੀ ਮਿਸਿੰਗ ਹੋਵੇ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਅਫੈਂਸ ਸੋ ਫਾਸਟ ਇਨਗਰੀਡੀਐਂਟ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਦੇਅਰ ਅਕੋਰਡਿੰਗਲੀ ਇਟ ਕੈਨ ਨਾਟ ਬੀ ਅ ਥਾਫਟ ਕੱਲ ਆਪਾਰ ਦਾ ਆਨਸਰ ਇਹ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਕਿ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਕਲੀਅਰ ਕਨਸੈਪਚੁਅਲੀ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਡਿਸ ਆਨੈਸਟ then a robbery is it a robbery no robbery is of two types theft amounting to robbery extortion amounting to robbery since it is not a theft there is no question of theft amounting to robbery is it a extortion extortion also requires dishonest intention additionally extortion also requires delivery of property handing over of the property so neither there is a dishonest intention nor there is a delivery of property so it is not extortion since it is not extortion it can't be extortion amounting to robbery third part is it duquati duquati is an aggravated form of robbery if it is not a duquati it can't be robbery sorry uh, duquati is an aggravated form of robbery if it is not a robbery it can't be a duquati so this is how you will be able to answer ਇਹ ਚਾਰ ਲੈਕਚਰ ਮੇਰੇ ਕਨਸੈਪਚੁਅਲ ਕਲੈਰਟੀ ਤੇ ਲੱਗੇ ਆ ਲਾਉਣੇ ਆ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਅਪਰੋਕਸੀਮੇਟਲੀ 7 6-7 ਲੈਕਚਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਕੋਈ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਕਰਨਾ ਆਰ ਬੀ ਟਾਕਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦੀ ਫਾਊਂਡੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਕ੍ਰਿਮੀਨਲ ਲਾ ਇਨ ਜਨਰਲ ਆਈਪੀਸੀ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ we will start with that later on so first lecture will be accordingly de- uh, devoted to conceptual clarity acha ek jadon problem type question hunda na अगर स्पेसिफिक क्वेश्चन आ जाए डज इट अमाउंट टू थॉट यू हैव टू आंसर टू दैट दैट इट डज नॉट अमाउंट टू थॉट और इट अमाउंट टू थॉट इट मे अमाउंट टू रॉबरी इट मे अमाउंट दैट यू आर दैट इज नॉट अ क्वेश्चन देयर क्वेश्चन इज इज इट थॉट लास्ट जंदे हुए एक लाइन च लिख दो हैव अ it may amount to robbery but that is not the question question is is it a theft why it is not a theft what is missing in that you have to justify mainly that part and question okay. ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਹ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਪੁੱਛੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਇਹ ਇਹ ਹੀ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਇੰਟੈਲੀਜੈਂਸ ਸ਼ੋ ਕਰਨ ਦੇ ਮਾਰੇ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਅਨਨੈਸੈਸਰੀਲੀ ਐਕਸਪੈਂਡ ਕਰ ਦਿਓ ਇਹ ਜੇ ਪੁੱਛੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵਾਈ ਯੂ ਸ਼ੁਡ ਆਨਸਰ ਨਾਲੇ ਹਾਊ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਸੇਟ ਇਟ ਨੈਗਲੀਜੈਂਟ ਸਰ ਇਹ ਆਪਣੇ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਨੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਨੂੰ ਕਿ ਇਟ ਮੇ ਬੀ ਗ੍ਰੀਵਸ ਹਰਟ ਇਟ ਮੇ ਬੀ heart grave is hurt jehdi cheez puchi nahi gayi oda answer nahi dena jinna question hai dekho job of a judge is just like a tailor master ye main tailor master nu tusi measurement dene ho ਉਹ ਮਟੀਰੀਅਲ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਹਿਸਾਬ ਨਾਲ ਕੱਟ ਲੈਂਦਾ ਸੋ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਵਕੀਲ ਮਟੀਰੀਅਲ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਉਧਰ ਪ੍ਰੋਸੀਕਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਉਧਰ ਡਿਫੈਂਸ ਵਾਲੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਤੋਂ ਕਟਿੰਗ ਕਰਕੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਪਦਾ ਜਜਮੈਂਟ ਬਣਾਉਣੀ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਐਕਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਇਟ ਟੇਲਰ ਮਾਸਟਰ ਦੈਟ ਵੇ ਕਿ ਵਾਟ ਐਵਰ ਮਟੀਰੀਅਲ ਇਜ਼ ਸਪਲਾਈਡ ਬਾਈ ਬੋਥ ਦੀ ਪਾਰਟੀਜ਼ ਅਕੋਰਡਿੰਗਲੀ ਵਾਟ ਐਵਰ ਸੂਟੇਬਲ ਟੂ ਦੀ ਆਨਸਰ ਦੈਟ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਮੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਦੈਟ ਨੰਬਰ ਲੈਣੇ ਇੱਕ ਆਰਟ ਹੈ 
ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਰੈਫਰ ਕੀਤਾ ਜੀ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਪੜਦਾ ਕੋਈ ਨਹੀਂ ਪੇਪਰ ਬਟ ਦੈਟ ਡਸ ਨਾਟ ਮੀਨ ਦੈਟ ਇਨਜਸਟਿਸ ਟੇਕ ਪਲੇਸ ਡੋਨਟ ਗੋ ਟੂ ਦੈਟ ਵੈਰੀ ਸਿੰਪਲ ਜੀ ਗਲਾ ਕਿ ਸਾਰੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਡਿਪਾਰਟਮੈਂਟਾਂ ਚੋਂ ਪਾਸ ਹੋ ਕੇ ਆਏ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਕਲਾਸ ਚ ਇੱਕ ਸੈਟ ਆਫ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟਸ ਹੈ ਦੋ ਹੋਣ ਤਿੰਨ ਹੋਣ ਚਾਰ ਹੋਣ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਹੀ ਪਹਿਲੀਆਂ ਪੋਜੀਸ਼ਨਾਂ ਤੇ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਫਰਸਟ ਸੈਕੰਡ ਥਰਡ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਹੈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਪੇਪਰ ਤਾਂ 30 ਲੈਕਚਰ 30 ਟੀਚਰ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਹਨ ਕਿਸੇ ਕੋ ਟੀਪੀ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਕਿਸੇ ਕੋ ਕ੍ਰਿਮੀਨਲ ਲਾਵ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਕਿਸੇ ਕੋ ਐਵੀਡੈਂਸ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਫਿਰ ਵੀ ਫਰਸਟ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਉਹ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਲੇਡੀਜ਼ ਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇੱਕ ਚੌਲ ਦੇਖ ਕੇ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਵੀ ਬਣ ਗਿਆ ਕਿ ਨਹੀਂ ਬਣ ਗਿਆ ਤੋਂ ਟੀਚਰ ਨੂੰ ਵੀ ਪਤਾ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਬਾਈ ਵਰਸ ਆਫ ਐਕਸਪੀਰੀਅੰਸ ਵੀ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਕਖੜਾ ਹੈ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਸਵਾਲ ਤੋਂ ਵੀ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਬਲੰਡਰ ਇਜ਼ ਕਿ ਤੂੰ ਲੀਵ ਐਨੀ ਕੁਇਟ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਵੀ ਹੈ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਆਫ ਟਾਈਮ ਸ਼ਾਰਟੇਜ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਹ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਕੁਛ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਨਾ ਕਰੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਸ਼ੀਸ਼ੇ ਮੂਰੇ ਖੜ ਜਾਣਾ ਆਪਣੇ ਮੂੰਹ ਤੇ ਆਪ ਹੀ ਦੋ ਤਿੰਨ ਥੱਪੜ ਮਾਰ ਲਈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਕੰਪੀਟੀਸ਼ਨ ਇੱਕ ਨੰਬਰ ਵੀ ਮੈਟਰ ਕਰਦਾ ਮੈਂ ਦੇਖਿਆ ਬੱਚੇ ਇੱਕ ਨੰਬਰ ਦੇ ਫੇਰ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਇੱਕ ਨੰਬਰ ਵੀ ਮੈਂ ਆਪਣਾ ਫਰਕ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਦੋਂ ਗਜਾਮੀ ਦਾ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਪੇਪਰ ਦੇਖਦਾ ਉਹ ਅਸੈਸਮੈਂਟ ਦਾ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਚ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਵੀ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਕਿ ਖੜੇ ਹੋ ਅਗਰ ਲਾਸਟ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਟਾਈਮ ਸ਼ਾਰਟੇਜ ਕਰਕੇ ਪੋਸੀਬਿਲਟੀ ਹੈ ਰਹਿ ਨਹੀਂ ਨਾ ਕਰ ਸਕੋ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੰਡੈਂਸ ਕਰ ਦੋ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਤਿੰਨ ਪੇਜ ਲਿਖਣੇ ਆ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਡੇਡ ਪੇਜ ਕੰਡੈਂਸ ਕਰ ਦੋ ਸਾਰਾ ਉਹ ਆਈਡੀਆ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਖੜੇ ਹੋ ਉਹ ਤਾਂ ਫਿਰ ਵੀ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਨੰਬਰ ਵਧੀਆ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਫਿਰ ਆਇਆ ਥੋੜਾ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੰਡੈਂਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਸਾਰਾ ਮਟੀਰੀਅਲ ਉਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਦੇ ਦਿਓ ਪਰ ਆਨਸਰ ਅਗਰ ਛੜਤਾ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਅਗਰ ਆਉਂਦਾ ਫਿਰ ਛੜਤਾ ਉਹ ਮਾਫ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਕਈ ਵਾਰ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕੋਈ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਲੰਬਾ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਉਹਦੇ ਠੀਕ ਹੈ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਕਿ ਮੇਰੇ ਕੋਲ 10 ਹੈ ਤੇ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਵੀ ਨੰਬਰ ਦਾ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਹੈ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਕੰਡੈਂਸ ਕਰ ਛੋਟਾ ਕਰਕੇ ਲਿਖ ਦੋ ਹੈਡਿੰਗ ਸਬ ਹੈਡਿੰਗ ਕਲੈਰੀਫਾਈ ਕਰਕੇ ਲਿਖ ਦੋ ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਅਸੈਸਮੈਂਟ ਉਹਨੇ ਆਲਰੇਡੀ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਪਹਿਲੇ ਕੁਐਸਚਨਾਂ ਚ ਉਹਦੇ ਹਿਸਾਬ ਨਾਲ ਨੰਬਰ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਫਿਰ ਵੀ ਦੇਵੇਗਾ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਇੱਕ ਦੋ ਨੰਬਰ ਘਟ ਜਾਣ ਇਸ ਤੋਂ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਫਰਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਪੈਂਦਾ ਨੋ ਦਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਹੁਣ ਕਈ ਬੱਚੇ ਇਹ ਕਿਤਾਬ ਕਿਹੜੀ ਪੜੀ ਹੈ ਅਗਰ ਸਾਰੇ ਲੈਕਚਰ ਲਾ ਲਓਗੇ ਕਿਤਾਬ ਪੜਨ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਪੈਣੀ ਔਰ ਰਾਦਾ ਆਈ ਵਿਲ ਐਡਵਾਈਸ ਇਹ ਕਿਤਾਬ ਨਾ ਪੜਿਓ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਾਈਡਡ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਕੋਲ ਸਾਰੇ ਲੈਕਚਰ ਹੈਗੇ ਆ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਲਾਸਾਂ ਲਾਈਆਂ ਨੇ ਰੀਜ਼ਨ ਉਹਦਾ ਇਹ ਹੈ ਕਿਤਾਬ ਚ ਬਹੁਤ ਡਿਟੇਲਸ ਦਿੱਤੀਆਂ ਹੁੰਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਇੱਕ ਇੱਕ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਨੂੰ ਬਾਰ-ਬਾਰ ਰਿਪੀਟ ਕਰਕੇ ਕੇਸ ਲਾ ਰੈਫਰ ਕਰਕੇ ਸਟ੍ਰੈਂਥਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਮੈਂ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਕਰਾਂਗਾ ਮੈਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਕੰਡੈਂਸ ਫਾਰਮ ਚ ਦੱਸਾਂਗਾ ਸਾਰਾ ਵਿਦਾਊਟ ਲੀਵਿੰਗ ਐਨੀਥਿੰਗ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਨਾ ਕਿ ਮਨ ਕਰਦਾ ਜੈਸੀ ਕਿਉ ਖਾਈਏ ਇੱਕ ਤਾਂ ਤਰੀਕਾ ਦਾ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਆ ਅੱਜ ਲੈ ਲਓ ਦੁੱਧ ਕੱਢ ਲਓ ਮੱਖਣ ਬਣ
ਤੋਂ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਤਾਂ ਕਿਤਾਬ ਦੇਖਣ ਦੀ ਵੀ ਬੜੀ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਪੈਂਦੀ ਨਾ ਸਿਰਫ ਕੇਸ ਲਾਜ ਨੂੰ ਕਰਾਉਣਾ ਉਹ ਸਾਈਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਇੱਧਰ ਉੱਧਰ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਕਈ ਗਰੀ ਉਹ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਲਿਖ ਕਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਲਿਖ ਲਿਖ ਲੈਂਦੀ ਆ ਬਾਕੀ ਇਨਗ੍ਰੀਡੀਐਂਟ ਆ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਉਹ ਕੋਈ ਅੱਡੀ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤ ਪੈਂਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਕੋਈ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੇ ਪੁੱਛਣਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਮਨਾ ਸਾਰਾ ਕੁਝ ਕਲੀਅਰ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਹਾਂ ਸਰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਹਾ ਮੈਂ ਅੱਧੇ ਪੇਜ ਕਰ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਸਾਰੇ ਮੈਂ ਸਾਰੇ ਆਨਸਰ ਅੱਧੇ ਪੇਜ ਦੇ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਹਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਛੋਟਾ ਕੋ ਵੱਡੇ ਦੇਖੋ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਵੱਡਾ ਛੋਟਾ ਤੇ ਆਨਸਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਡਿਪੈਂਡ ਕਰਦਾ ਮਟੀਰੀਅਲ ਤੇ ਡਿਪੈਂਡ ਕਰਦਾ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਅਗੇਨ ਆਈ ਸੇ ਇਹ ਆਰਟ ਹੈ ਬੜੀ ਐਸਥੈਟਿਕ ਸੈਂਸ ਦੇਖਣੀ ਹੈ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਦੇ ਘਰੇ ਜਾ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਉਹਨੇ ਬੜੀ ਮਹਿੰਗੀ ਮਹਿੰਗੀ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਰੱਖੀਆਂ ਹੋਈਆਂ ਨੇ ਪਰ ਉਹਦੀ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਿ ਐਸਥੈਟਿਕ ਸੈਂਸ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਹੋਵੇ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਰਹੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੀਤੀ ਆ ਰਹੇ ਮੈਂ ਹੁਣ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਦਾ ਮੈਂ ਅਸੀਂ 7ਵੀਂ 8ਵੀਂ ਚ ਪੜਦਾ ਸੀ ਲਾਸਟ ਡੇ ਦੇ ਫੰਕਸ਼ਨ ਖਤਮ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਕਲਾਸ ਖਤਮ ਹੋਣੀ ਸੀ ਟੀਚਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਸੀਨੀਅਰ ਟੀਚਰ ਨੂੰ ਬੁਲਾ ਲਿਆ ਕਲਾਸ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਔਨ ਸਾਰੀ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਸਵਾਲ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਅਕਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਈ ਗੁਰੂ ਗੋਬਿੰਦ ਸਿੰਘ ਦੀ ਫੋਟੋ ਹੈ ਨਾਲ ਰੱਖੀ ਆ ਮਹਾਤਮਾ ਗਾਂਧੀ ਜੀ ਉੱਪਰ ਲਾ ਰੱਖੀ ਉਹ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਪਰੇ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਨਾ ਥੋੜੀ ਸਟੈਟਿਕ ਸੈਂਸ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਇਹ ਹੈ ਕਿਹੜੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਰੱਖਣੀ ਹੈ ਮੈਂਗੀ ਸਸਤੀ ਦਾ ਸਵਾਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਕਿੱਥੇ ਰੱਖਣੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਸਟੈਟਿਕ ਇਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਹੀ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮਟੀਰੀਅਲ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਅਰੇਂਜ ਕਰਨਾ ਦੈਟ ਵਿਲ ਗਿਵ ਯੂ ਆਨਸਰ ਹਾਂ ਕੀ ਕੋਈ ਹੁਣ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਲੈਕਚਰ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਖਤਮ ਕਰਤਾ ਇੱਕ ਨਾ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਵੀ ਲੀਵ ਐਕਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਕੋਲ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੈਂ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਜਾਂ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਘੱਟ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਹਨ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਤੇ ਨਾਰਮਲੀ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਨਾਰਮਲੀ ਦੇਖੋ ਬੈਨ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੋਈ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਿਨਰ ਤੇ ਜੋ ਵਰਦੀ ਸਵਾਲ ਕਰ ਆਈਪੀਸੀ ਸਾਰੀ ਕੋਰਸ ਕਰ ਪਰ ਨਾਰਮਲੀ ਪਿਛਲੇ ਅਗਰ 20-30 ਸਾਲਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪੇਪਰ ਦੇਖੋ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਸਵਾਲ ਨਾਰਮਲੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਚੈਪਟਰ 3 ਚੈਪਟਰ 6 ਐਕਸੈਪਟ ਸੈਕਸ਼ਨ 124A 124A ਇਜ਼ ਵੈਰੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਪਟੀਸ਼ਨ ਚੈਪਟਰ 7 chapter 9 chapter 9a chapter 12 chapter 13 chapter 14 15 except section 295 295 chapter 19 19 ਇਹ ਕਾਪ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਹੈ ਬਾਕੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਾਰੇ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਬਾਕੀ ਚੈਪਟਰ ਉਹ ਸਾਰੇ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਹੈ ਇੱਕ ਨਾ ਮੈਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਤੋਂ ਕੋਈ ਕਰ ਸਕਦਾ ਤੇ ਚਾਹੇ ਕਰ ਵੀ ਲਓ ਇੱਕ ਮਿੰਟ ਛਾਰੋ ਕਰ ਲੋ ਜੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਨਾ ਲੇਟੈਸਟ ਕੇਸ ਲਾਇਆ ਨੇ 
इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट है मोस्टली क्रिमिनल लाते हैं सी आर पी सी के हैं कुछ हिंदू लाते भी हो रुचिया जाता इन्हों कह दो सारे तो भेज दें जान कोई कर सकता है तो एक जाना लोड कर लो बाकी सारे लै लो अगर नहीं मिलेगा फिर मैं कर दूंगा तकरीबन दो हजार उन्नीस भी तक दे भी तो लेटेस्ट डिवेलपमेंट तो ने चाहे वो हिंदू लाते हैं चाहे वो आई पी सी के हैं सी आर पी सी के हैं तो होर भी रिलेटिड सबजैक्ट तो है ना वो एक समरी बनाई हुई है मेरी समरी है समरी है तीन दिन चार चार महीने बड़ा लंबा डिटेल नहीं है कुछ है एरिए जिसे थोड़ी जी एक डेढ़ पेज को अगर नहीं होगी मैं फिर तो हाँ जी कोई सवाल किसी का सारा कुछ समझ क्या गया क्या फिर कुछ भी समझ नहीं आया बाकी देखो आई पी सी कंसर्न मैनू चाली साल यही काम कर दे आई पी सी मैं लगता कुछ डिफिकल्ट प्रोवाइड रेगूलर क्लास क्योंकि कई मेरे ख्याल ऑनलाइन भी सुन गए कुछ ऑनलाइन ना तो मैं स्वाद आना पढ़ा ना ही सुनने वाले कई बार बिजली चली गई कई बार डिस्कनैक्ट हो गया बंदा कुछ सुनता है अगर ना आया तो कोशिश यही करो कि अगर फिजिकली आ सकते हो तो प्रैफर करो फिजिकली तो कल नी शुरू करा पहला जनरल लैक्चर मैं तुम पहला से छे सत लैक्चर हो गए पहला लैक्चर अप्रोक्सीमेटली एक लैक्चर पूरा कंटिन्यू कर लेगा और तो शायद ज्यादा भी चला जाए दूजे लैक्चर दूजा तीजा चौथा कंसैप्चुअल कलैरिक कि के डिसऑनेस्टली की है प्रोडोनेंटली की है इलीगली की है इंजरी की है क्योंकि ये सारिया कॉन्सैप्ट ना डिफरेंट सैक्शन डिसऑनेस्टली है अठ सैक् अठ नौ सैक्शन च वन ऑफ इनग्रीडियंटॉशन रॉबरी डिकॉलिटी मिस अप्रोप्रिएशन ब्रीच ऑफ ट्रस्ट रिसीविंग स्टोलन प्रॉपर्टी सारिया च वन ऑफ द इनग्रीडियंट डिसऑनेस्टली है तो मैं उसे डिटेल्ड एक्सप्लेन करना तो दसिया अगर क्वेश्चन आता कोई सॉबरी कर Yeah, I think it's a good thing.
बच्चे कुछ बोल रहे हैं बच्चे कुछ बोल रहे हैं बारह दस के बारह अठ हो बारह बज के अठ मिनट हो बस खत्म ही है मैं वो तो जान दू बोली तो एक मिनट बच्चे बच्चे भी कह रहे हैं समझ नहीं आया आज बोर्ड ते नहीं ना मैडम कहते कर ज्यादा 